Nuti bantu kratori dioti men shai sabin nuti men sioti eri so esperi estos. We thank you for every condition, concerning every condition and every condition. For you have covered us, helped us, guided us, accept us, you serve us, with us, support us, and brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion upon us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and the prayers of the saints for that which is good and our behalf at all times. And forgive us our words. Lord have mercy. Let us continue your goodness, our Lord of mankind. Grant us a complete and solid day in order that we may from our peace and without fear. All the evil of temptation, the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies, Satan, and the manifest, even now we promise. And from all your people, and from this holy church, and from this holy place that is yours, but the things which are good and profitable for us, for have given us the authority to do service and scorpions, and upon the part of the enemy. <laughs>
sohem Em e fritin o kitha Ra e vesmo e fnutien se o niven El ha e Better than in the Oh, 
Lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Yet however stuck in this mood, okay, sorry, we won't take it for all. Your kingdom, oh my God, is an eternal kingdom, and your lordship is unto all ages. For us, servants, and it's over for us, and it's mean and it's equal. Oh, Jeff, try it. I'm on an invicoe, volunteer, and so we help to Elijah the prophet of temperance. Elijah, his elect disciple. Oh, the mother of God, oh, Virgin Mary, ask him on our behalf to have mercy on our race. Our Father, the Confessor, Abba the Oscuro, Defendant the Faith against the heretics. Forgiveness of our sins and give us peace. Nay, O Benoti, Hanachi, we am more. O Shema, Shor, and Jenner, Mecheni, O the raindrops are counted by you, and the set of the sea is meant for your eyes. The sins that I have done, do not remember my Lord, then do not count my iniquities. And I do. Restore us, O God, to your salvation, and deal with us according to your goodness. According to your great mercy, I hear and boom every open if better so sick a shop it and then me take or shall go and more. My peace, I give to you the peace of my father. I live with you.
Ente kemeta agas vos pimayero o before your greatness in the heavens through the service of your holy angels and archangels as you have received the gifts of the righteous evil the sacrifice of our father Abraham and the true minds of the widow so also receive the thank offerings of your servant those in abundance and those in scarcity hidden and manifest those who desire to offer to you but have none and those who have offered these gifts to you this very day give them the incorruptible instead of the corruptible the heaven instead of the earthly the eternal instead of the temporal their houses and their stores feed them with every good thing surround them all over by the power of your holy angels and archangels 
that they have remembered your holy name on earth, remember them also, O Lord, in your kingdom, and in this age to leave them not behind. Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. O you who takes away the sin of the world, receive our prayers unto you, who sits at the right hand of his Father, have mercy on us. Only our Holy, you only our Most High, and my Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. Glory be to God the Father, Amen. Every day I will bless you and praise your holy name, forever and after the ages of ages, Amen. From the night season my soul wakes early unto you, O oh, my God, for your precepts are a light upon the earth. I was meditating on your ways, you have become a helper unto me. In the morning you shall hear my voice, early I stand before and you shall see me. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Lord, who rose from dead, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Lord, who rose from dead, have mercy upon us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Lord, who rose from dead, have mercy upon us. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Holy Trinity have mercy upon us. Holy Trinity have mercy upon us. Holy Trinity have mercy upon us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. The Lord, forgive us our iniquities. The Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sick of your people, heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our Father and Brethren have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls. You are our sin, Lord, have mercy on us. You are our sin, Lord, help us to receive our supplications. Yours is the glory, the meaning, and triple holiness. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us on temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who died is the King of the power and the glory of forever. Chem be Christos, he sons, Ben Choice, Amin, Alleluia, Sherry, Net, and Tihoi, Roth, Eth, O Abbot, Menno, to impart in a seon event, he must not to thwab and be Christos. He only did the cross of she, and Shoya, Abbe, she, and Mendri, and the Fan, no, be not a boy. Sherry, theatre, speech, in honor, pure, and in toy of me, be Christos, Ben Noti, Tibartenos, Eth, O Abbot, and O Abbot, and Choice, and the Fan, and the Fan, and the Fan, and the Fan, Ti barthenos Maria, ti thoto kos thowe, ti prostati se trot en teb gen se teti metromi. Ai mes ne mi ne ne ego.
brought out his chosen ones with rejoicing and with joy. Therefore, Intercede on our behalf, the announcer of the resurrection. 
Michael the head of the heavenly Bahima forgive us our sins Shobe and so Edesom Segon Henimat Chose Tarik and Kito Chosen the Tid and Tithe Oto Kose to him Barthen or Sensei on Even Whom you have more and more exciting to take away our troubles and grant us his peace Crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried on the third day, rose from dead according to the scriptures, and sent it into the heavens, sits at the right hand of his Father. Is coming again in his glory, judge living in the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, and beseech from the Father, with the Father and the Son, as virgin and glorified, as spoke by the prophets, and by the Holy Ghost. So, Church, we confess on this for the mission of sins. And we look for the direction of the dead and life, the age to come. Amen. Many prophets are righteous men of desire to see the things which ye see and have not seen them, and ye the things which ye hear and have not heard them. But bless thy eyes for the see and the ears for the hear, may be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your sins. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Amen. 
Sama Star of the Sabin Master, remember them our supplications and the prayers which you offer. Abum to Lodawa, God, those have already fallen asleep, report them, those as he killed them, for all the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Stand in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Mark the Evangelist. May his blessing be with our soul. Amen. From the Psalms of our Father. David the prophet and the king, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. Then the Lord awoke as from sleep, like a mighty man who shouts because of wine, and he built his sanctuary like the heights, like the earth which he has established forever. Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of living God, to whom is glory forever. Amen. Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they said among themselves, Who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You see Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. So they went out quickly and fled from the tomb. For they trembled and were amazed. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him, as they mourned and wept. And when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. Glory be to God forever. Go ahead, choice of
Sufferings for praise in the face of his saintly disciples and pure said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit if you forgive their sins, if any they are forgiven, if you retain their sins, if any they are retained. Now also I must we have given grace through holy apostles to those for a time, the infinite priesthood in the holy church, to forgive sin upon the earth and to bind and loose from the iniquity. Now also I ask and treat your goodness and love of mankind. For your servants, my fathers, my brethren, my weakness, those who bow their heads before your holy glory, dispense us your mercy and those who have our sins. If you have committed sin against you, knowingly or unknowingly, through anguish of heart, whether indeed or well infinite hardness, O Master, I know the weakness of men as a good one and lover of mankind. O God, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, purify us, absorb us, and all your people. Fill us with your fear, strengthen us for the holy good world. Our God, the glory, the honor, the dominion, the worship to the God of the good Father and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Come on, get it. Evo
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be sanctification to the one only Holy universe and of the solar church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those have brought you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and for those who have brought them, Lord, have mercy. Alleluia, by baby.
Accept us himself, spared us, supported us, and has brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Almighty, to guard us and all peace this holy day, and all that is for life. <laughs> If not, if I'm to cry, or if you are to be in choice, I will not even sit here. So, spirits, those we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything, for you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accept us, you spare. Spared us, supported us, and brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion upon us. Hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and the prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all, all times. And make us worthy to partake of the communion of his holy and blessed mysteries. For the remission of our sins. Therefore, we ask and teach your goodness and love of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day in order this for life and all peace and with your fear. Holy and filled temptation, the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies, yet and manifest. Take them away from us and from all your people, and from this holy table, and from this holy place that is yours. But the things which are good and profitable to provide for us, for it is have given us the authority to read in serbs and scorpions, and upon all the power of the enemy. Amen.
son of a circuit chair, she from the mouth of the 12 Abusas and from the mouth of the Holy God, the Evangelist among the Abusas, Matt of the Patriarchs and Saviors, our teacher discourse, Saint Athanas the Abusolic, Saint Peter the Priest, Martin High Priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Cyrus, Saint Benson, Saint Gregory, and from the mouth of 318 Ascent and Nassim, 150 of course, Saint Unibin and 200 Ephesus, from the other father, the High Priest, and Batu II, his part in the Abusolic liturgy. Our Father, the Bishop of Daniel, from the mouth, my object, sir, for bliss and for glory, holy name, the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, now what the times of the age of the ages, Amen. <laughs> Amen. 
call the servant of our Lord, Paul the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed the gospel of God. A reading from the first epistle of our teacher Paul to the Corinthians. May his holy blessings be us. Amen. For each one in his own order, Christ the first fruits, afterward those who are Christ's at his coming. Then comes the end when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. For he has put all things under his feet, but when he says all things are put under him, it is evident that he who put all things under him is accepted. Now when all things are made subject to him, and the Son himself will also be subject to him, who will, put all things un who will put all things under him, that God may be all in all? Otherwise, what will they do who are, who are baptized for the dead, if the dead do not rise at all? Why then are they baptized for the dead? And why do we stand in jeopardy every hour? I affirm by the boasting in you which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. If in the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantage is it to me? If the dead do not rise, let us eat and drink, for, for tomorrow we die. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Awake to righteousness and do not sin, for some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. But someone will say, how are the dead raised up, and with what body do they come? Foolish one, what you sow is not made alive unless it dies. And what you sow, you do not sow, that body shall we, but mere, but mere grain, perhaps wheat or some other grain. But God gives it a body as he pleases, and to each seed its own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, and another flesh of animals, another of fish, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and terrestrial bodies. But the glory of the celestial one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. The body is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown in a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural, and afterward the spiritual. The first man was of the earth made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of dust, dust so also are those who are made of dust. And as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. Now this I say, brethren, that, the, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. Catholic Epistle from the, first, from the first Peter. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, having a good conscience that when they defame you as evildoers, those who revile your good conduct in Christ may be ashamed. For it is better if it is the will of God to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit, by whom also he, sent, he went and preached to the spirits in prison, who formerly were disobedient, when once the divine long-suffering waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is, eight souls, were saved through water. There is also an antitype which now saves us, baptism, 
not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of the good conscience toward God, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers having been made subject to him. Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same mind, for he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh for the lusts of men, but for the will of God. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in lewdness, lusts, drunkenness, revelries, drinking parties, abominable adulteries. In regards to these, they think it strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. They will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason the gospel was preached also to those who are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. Do not love the world nor the things in the world. The world is passing away and its last. He who does the will of God abides forever. Amen. Hail to his Fathers, the pure apostles who were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit, may their blessings be with us all. Amen. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs which you did through him in your midst, as you yourselves also know him, being delivered by the determined purpose and foreknowledge of God. You have taken by lawless hands, have crucified and put to death, whom God raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be held by it. For David says concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is at my right hand, that I may not be shaken. Therefore my heart rejoiced, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, my flesh also will rest in hope, for you will not leave my soul in Hades, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of joy in your presence. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. Uh, we have received a message from uh, His Holiness Pope Tadros um, um, to um, us, and also there is another message from His Grace Bishop Daniel. Uh, so Samuel and Andrew will uh, read this message. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Christos Anesti, Alithos Anesti, Christ is risen, truly He is risen. I congratulate you 
for the glorious feast of resurrection. This year, all Christians worldwide are celebrating it in unison. We remember the martyrs of Palm Sunday. With their blood, they recorded a new page in the history of, the, of our Egyptian Coptic Orthodox Church. We remember them with all goodness as the Lord had chosen them. We know that God is the Pantocrator. He governs all our lives. We always thank him saying, let us give thanks to the beneficent one. We remember them with all the martyrs. We remember our beloved country, Egypt, entreating the Lord to keep her in all peace. May he remove all evil and shadows of evil from the borders of our country, Egypt, and of all the region, and of all the regions of the Middle East. When we meditate on the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, we find in the Holy Bible many verses concerning the resurrection. The resurrection is the, f is the first and main event in the history of our Christianity. Without resurrection or without the cross, Christianity could not exist. One of the many verses that discuss the resurrection in a personal perspective was written by a saint who had not known Christ for a long time, perhaps until middle age. In his adulthood, Christ had appeared to him and introduced himself. This encounter changed him from Saul of Tarsus to St. Paul the Apostle. In his epistle to the Philippians, while in the prison, he wrote one of the strongest verses about experiencing the resurrection in chapter 3, verse 10. It says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being, conf being conformed to his death. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. This knowledge and spiritual experience of the resurrection is illustrated through four features by St. Paul. First, that I may know him. This is a confirmatory statement. This knowledge is personal and not by hearsay. This knowledge is through experiencing Christ personally. To verify, to verify this, he said, that I may know him. Job the righteous spoke about the knowledge of the knowledge of the spoke about this knowledge at the conclusion of his book, saying, I have heard of you by the hearing of, my, of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Job chapter 42, verse 5. Through this knowledge, man knows the love of Christ, the commandments of Christ, the salvation of Christ, the behavior of Christ, without which he placed in our hearts, this knowledge is by experience. Second, and the power of his resurrection. This is the second feature that St. Paul mentioned. The resurrection has a power. This power is stronger than anything. The resurrection is not a historical event, but a functional status for man to live by, to experience, and to enjoy. The resurrection confirms that death is not the end of the, of the road. It was the resurrection 
that raised Mary Magdalene when she was in doubt, while in her, in her sadness she, she thought that Christ was the gardener, when he called her by name, she joyfully greeted him. The resurrection alleviated the disciples from their fear. They had, they had been terrified and kept all doors shut. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to them, the Bible says, then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. John chapter 20, verse 20. Resurrection raises man from sin Man cannot rise from the impurity of sin except by the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ that pleased all mankind when he was crucified and died on the cross for the sake of all. Third, and the fellowship of his sufferings. This is the third feature in the experience of St. Paul. Here we wonder why, the men why he mentioned the power of resurrection before the fellowship of his sufferings. In ancient Christian tradition, whenever the cross was hung, they did not depict the body of the Lord Jesus. The reason had risen from the dead. The joy of the resurrection is a road through the cross, but Christ is risen now. I remember during one of my visits abroad, I saw a wooden cross with the resurrected Jesus por portrayed. Christ is present with the, with the body that resurrected from the dead. The fellowship of his sufferings that is described by St. Paul means that resurrection comes after suffering. The fellowship of sufferings happens when man shares it. There is no glory without pain. There is no crown of life without the crown of thorns. The crown of thorns gave us the crown of life. There is no resurrection without the cross. That is why we go through the fellowship of suffering as human beings and as a church. We describe many of these accounts in the narratives and events of the martyrs. Our Egyptian Coptic Orthodox Church became the Church of Martyrs and is renowned by this name worldwide. That is why we sing, the mother of the martyrs is so beautiful, meaning the church. Fourth, being conformed in his, to his death. This is the fourth feature of St. Paul's experience, it means a Christian person treading the path of the Lord dies to sin. In every liturgy we attend, we hear the, the conclusion of the Catholic epistle that says, do not love the world or the things in the world. The first epistle of St. John chapter two, verse 15. The focus of a Christian and his and his heart's desire is continuously towards heaven being conformed to his death. Being conformed to his death is clarified by St. Paul in his strong spiritual experiences. For your sake we are killed all day long. Romans chapter 8 verse 36. This spiritual experience written by St. Paul was expressed by the saint several times. He states, saying, Awake you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. He gives light to the, to the person who sleeps in sin, or in evil, or sleeps in the love of the world, away from Christ, and from the true knowledge of Christ. The person who sleeps does not know the resurrection of Christ, neither has experienced nor lived it. 
Saint Paul through his, through the, the holy words he says awake you who sleep arise from the dead death of the sin and Christ will give you light my heartfelt congratulations to all our hearts ache with pain for the separation of our loved ones the martyrs but we always remember that they have fallen asleep on the hope of the resurrection the resurrection of Christ may God preserve and bless you your lives my message is directed to the fathers the metropolitans bishops priests hegemons and presbyters to all deacons ministers servants committees of churches and church boards to all youth and to all children to each family in every congregation in our Coptic Orthodox Church extending to all the conditions sorry to all the continents of all the of the world in America Canada Latin America Europe Africa Asia and Australia we greet my greetings and love al along with the love of the mother church here in Egypt we send to you may you always enjoy the resurrection in your life Christos Anesti Arithos Anesti Christ is risen truly he is risen signed his holiness Pope to Adros II To the reverend fathers, the priests, the monks, the nuns, the consecrated sisters, the deacons, the church committees, the servants, the youth and all the members of the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of Sydney and its affiliated regions, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, grace, peace and mercy from Christ who is risen in glory, Christos Anesti. I would like to acknowledge before I begin the traditional custodians of the land. On this great and glorious day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, the Feast of Feasts of our Holy Coptic Orthodox Church, and in light of the difficult circumstances that surround our Mother Church in Egypt, allow me to share with you excerpts from the 10th Paschal Epistle of St. Athanasius the Apostolic to his congregation for the Feast of the Resurrection in the year 338 AD, when the Church was suffering events similar to those occurring now. God, who is good, multiplied his loving kindness toward us, not only when he vouchsafed to us by his word the common salvation of us all, but also now when enemies have persecuted us and have sought to seize upon us. For the might of men and of all creatures is weak and poor, but the might which is above men and uncreated is rich and incomprehensible and has no beginning, but is eternal. It does not then possess one method only of healing, but being rich, it works in diverse manners for our salvation by means of his word, who is not restricted or hindered in his dealings toward us. O oh, my dearly beloved, if we shall gain comfort from afflictions, if rest from labors, if health after sickness, if after death there is immortality, it does not become us to be so much distressed by the temporal ills that afflict mankind. It is not right to be greatly moved because of the trials which befall us. It is not right to fear if the host that contended with Christ should conspire against godliness, but we should be, we should the more please God through these things and should consider such matters as the probation and exercise of a virtuous life. For how shall patience be looked for if there have not previously been labors and sorrows? Or how can experience be afforded of fortitude when there has not first been an assault from enemies? Or how can a spectacle of fortitude be exhibited when contumely and injustice have not proceeded? Or how can long suffering be expected when opposition on the part of antichrists has not first existed? And finally, how can a man hope to witness virtue when the iniquity of the very wicked has not previously displayed itself? Thus even our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ comes before us as an example when he would show men how to suffer was willingly led to death, that we might behold him in the image of all that is virtuous. Thus too, Paul, while he conducted himself after the example of the Lord, also exhorted us, saying, Be you followers of me, as I also am of Christ. In this way he prevailed against all the host of the devil, writing, 
I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. What is our role, my brethren, but to praise and give thanks to God, the King of all? And let us first exclaim in the words of the Psalms, Blessed be the Lord who has not given us over as prey to their teeth. Let us keep the feast in that way which he has consecrated to us for salvation, the holy day of Easter, so that we may celebrate the feast which is in heaven with the angels. Thus anciently the people of the Jews, when they came out of affliction into a state of ease, kept to the feast, singing a song of praise for their victory. Therefore let us also, performing our vows to the Lord and confessing our sins, keep the feast to the Lord in conversation, moral conduct and manner of life, praising our Lord who has chastened us a little but has not utterly failed and forsaken us. On this account especially I both give thanks to God myself and exhort you to thank him with me and on my behalf, that being the apostolic custom which these oppressors of Christ and the schismatics wish to put an end to and to break off, the Lord did not permit it, but both renewed and preserved that which was ordained by him through the apostle, so that we may keep the feast together and together keep holy the day, the one with the other according to the tradition and commandment of the fathers. For when we have first meditated properly on these things, we shall attain to be counted worthy of those which are eternal. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, through whom to the Father be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. We ask our Lord, the risen King of glory, to keep for us the life of our honourable Father and Shepherd, His Holiness, Pope Tawadros II. May the Lord grant him many years of faithfully caring for our beloved Coptic Orthodox Church. We also ask the resurrected King to preserve the lives of, the, of our fathers, their eminences and metropolitans, and our fathers, their graces, the bishops of the Coptic Orthodox Synod. May the Lord preserve their lives for many years and peaceful times to come. And we pray the resurrected Lord to bless our motherland, Egypt, and blessed land, Australia. To him who is our light, our life, our peace, and our joy, be the power, the glory, the dominion, the majesty, now and ever, unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Please pray for me, Bishop Daniel, by the grace of God. Oh, oh.
Up your gates, O rulers, and be raised up, O eternal gates. Lift up your guides, O rulers, and be raised Lift up your guides, O rulers, and be
προσευχή σταθείτε. Λέρνη φάσιε. Jesus Christ, our God, who is said to his saints and disciples and pure apostles, many prophets are righteous men have desired to see the things which we see and have not seen them, and see the things which we hear and have not heard them. But best thy eyes, for they see and my ears, for they hear me be worthy to hear and act according to your holy gospels. Through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the Holy Ghost. Lord, have mercy. Remember those who have been in us, to remember them, our supplications and the prayers which you offer up and through the world, God. Those who have already fallen asleep, report them. Those who have killed them for all the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. San Mosto David
consumento agiou o evangelho. Depois mara o tinge a pessoa se sentir no homem que iria para o seu que tocou até o nene gay o evangelho não nos mais. From the Gospel according to our teacher Saint John the Evangelist, may his blessing From the Psalms of our Father David, the Prophet and King, may his blessing God is the Lord, and He has given us Then she ran 
Simon and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and said to them, They have taken away the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter therefore went out and the other disciple and were going to the tomb. So they both ran together and the other disciple outran Peter and came to the tomb first. And he stooping down and looking in saw the linen cloths lying there, yet he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came and followed him and went into the tomb, and he saw the linen cloths lying there, and the handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded together in a place, by itself. Then the other disciple who came to the tomb first went in also, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciple went away again into their own homes, but Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping, and as she wept she, sto she stooped down and looked into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting, one on the head, and the other at the feet where the body of Jesus had lain. Then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to him and said, Rabboni, which is to say, teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken these things to her. Glory be to God for
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, what God, I mean. Last Sunday was a Palm Sunday. The church was injured by having an attack in our churches in Egypt, in Tanta and Alexandria. And many of our brothers and sisters, they were injured. They had wounds. They were hurt. And the church was hurt because of that attack. But sometimes we have been hurt as well. And sometimes we hurt each other not to have an attack from outside. Many people, they are upset with each other. And many people, they were hurt because of certain accusations. And many people, they cannot even greet each other or to look at each other. Everyone is trying to justify his hurt. We have two types of wounds, defeated wounds or resurrected wounds. Our Lord Jesus Christ, he has changed for us the defeated wounds that he had into the resurrected wounds. When he was hurt from the Romans and from the Jews, he has kept the prints of these wounds in his body. And he was, he is risen with these wounds. So he changed the nature of these wounds from the defeated type of wounds into the resurrected type of wounds. And through the resurrected wounds of Christ, he has provided many gifts and many blessings. After what happened on, su on Sunday, two disciples went back to their own village. We called them two disciples of Emmaus. And while they were in the road talking about Jesus, Jesus was around them, he has heard them, and he started to get into the conversation and the discussion. And he explained to them many things. It was so late at night. So they offered for him to stay with them. And he went into their own house. And while they were offering food, he took the bread and broke it and gave it to them. The Bible says their eyes were opened. And they knew for sure that he was Christ. How, how did they know? They knew from his hands while he was holding you know, the bread. So the wounds of Christ, the resurrected wounds of Christ, opened the eyes of their two disciples. And even... They said, did our hearts burn within us while he talked with us on the road? Their hearts were burning. So this is the first instant that through that, the wounds of Christ opened the eyes and did touch the hearts. The second time when he appeared on Sunday to the disciples when the doors were shut and no one was able to go out because they were afraid, all the disciples. And then he came in, in, into the midst and he said to them, peace be with you. And then he showed them his hands and his side. They saw the, the resurrected wounds of Christ. And when they saw him, the Bible says they were glad because they saw him. So here, the resurrected wounds of Christ gave them the gifts, giving gifts, gifts of peace and joy. St. Luke had a comment about that. He said, he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. 
to another type of opening. One, opening the eyes, and number two, opening the understanding. This is the second time through the wounds of Christ, humanity received gifts. The third time, a week after, when Thomas wasn't with them, he said, I cannot believe it unless I put my hands, my fingers into um, you know, uh, the, the prints of his nails and I put my hand into his side, I'll never believe. So a week later, the Lord has done the same thing. While the doors were shut, he was in the midst and he said to them, peace to you. And then he said to Thomas, reach your fingers into my hands and reach your hand into my side. Do not be believing, but believing. Here, the resurrected ones of Christ give us the faith and the strengthen our faith. And then the last time, when the Lord appeared to the disciples while they were fishing, St. Peter was gathering some of the disciples and went to fish, to catch fish. And St. John knew him, and he was uh, outside, and he told them where to put the net. And then they came out, and no one was able, not able to talk. But they saw him and recognized him, how through his wounds. And then he started to eat with them grilled fish. And then he spoke to St. Peter and told him, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than this? And St. Peter, he said, you know, Lord, that I love you. And then he said to him three th important things. Feed my lambs. Tend my sheep, feed my sheep. And by doing this, after the conversation, he said to him, follow me. So the wounds, the resurrected wounds of Christ here restored St. Peter to his rank after his repentance. And this is really important. So how about us? how the humanity can benefit from that. So the resurrected ones of Christ can provide for us four important things. Number one, opening the eyes to see the truth. Many people, they get upset or they hold grudges and without trying to know the truth. And many people, they have more of the defeated wounds and they don't want to open up to the truth because they don't want to overcome these type of wounds. Many people they are angry, many people they have hatred, many people they have grudges and we are defeated by those wounds. But once we overcome them, our eyes will be open so I can see the truth and I forgive my friend or my brother or my sister. Or I can know the truth so I can recognize the person in front of me, how he is from inside, rather than judging him. And also opening the eyes and touching the hearts to initiate for me. My heart is burning within me. Many of us, we have memories together, but all of the sudden we decide not to talk to each other. Is that a type of defeated wound, but once we overcome that, we'll be able to have the emotions and the feelings and the love to overcome all the barriers and all the lack of communications, and I can love my brother or sister. And instead of having these kind of bridges, broken bridges between me and my brother, Number two, which is really important, that the resurrected wounds of Christ can give me gifts. Those people, they keep themselves with a circle of anger and frustration and hatred and holding grudges 
They always like it, never be happy. But that, the person that can overcome himself in this area, he'll be happy and peaceful. And he'll be able to grow up in God's love and in his knowledge. As the St. Luke says, open their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. The problem that we don't get closer to God because always we are, have the defeated wounds. But we need to overcome ourselves and to be able to resurrect with the wounds. And these wounds, for them you can see, they can give you gifts. So the resurrected wounds of Christ offering you gifts of peace and joy and opening your understanding. Also, the resurrected wounds of Christ can strengthen your faith and can overcome all the irrationality or any confusion or illogical type of thinking. Even sometimes we think and we, we judge things like that's not sensible. But through the faith, I can accept things and I will resurrect from it and I will leave this behind me and I can believe in things no one is able to believe Christians they believe first and then they think second unlike any other religion they think first and then they do believe that's why when Thomas believed like when he said my Lord and my God the Lord has blessed us because we haven't seen. Bless those people they do believe and they haven't seen. We are so blessed because we have believed. So you need to have that faith and that trust in the Lord and that faith and the trust in your brother and sister. We need to build up this kind of trust and faith. And the faith that you are protected and you will never be harmed from anyone. The last thing, restoring. Our Lord Jesus Christ has received St. Peter, accepted him back, restored him, and even he called him to follow when he said to him, follow me. Lord, you have said this from the beginning, but now it's important for him to feel that. How many times we have defeated wounds that we reject our brothers and sisters? How many times people, they wanted to reconcile with us and we refused. How many times people, they wanted to talk to us and we shut them down. But this is how we can restore our brother, brothers and sisters and we receive them and we accept them. And once we do that, we feel even my wounds are there, but they have been changed from defeated type of wound into the resurrected type of wound. I'm quite sure if you look at St. George or St. Mina or St. Episophane, those people, they had wounds all over their bodies. Their wounds were not defeated anymore. Why? Because they have shown such a great love and forgiveness to those people, they have done this to them. The same in the same manner when Christ on the cross had forgiven all humanity for what they have done to him. So now we need to change our wounds from that, from that defeat into that victory. From the dead type of wound or defeated type of wound into the resurrected type of wound. And this is will never happen unless through the resurrection of Christ. So today our Lord Jesus Christ is offering humanity to be raised with him and to be raised from all the defeat that you had and all the feelings bad and ill feelings that you have had before. And you need now to get above these feelings and above these wounds. Even the wounds will be there, but now you're going to thank the Lord. I thank you, Lord, for, for these type of wounds. Why? Because through them, I received many things. It opened my eyes and it touched my heart and, and give me gifts, free gifts and also strengthen my faith and restoring me 
and I restored my brothers and sisters. May our Lord Jesus Christ help us and to, to change all our selves and to accept one another through him. Glory be to God forever, forever, ever. Then he was placed in the tomb according to the prophetic voices on the, on the third day Christ rose from the dead Alleluia 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 Jesus Christus Eporo En Tebo We believe in one God, God the Father, Pantocrator, Creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created of one essence of the Father, by whom all things were made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, he was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary became man. Who was crucified for us and the Pontius Pilate suffered and was buried on the third day arose from dead according to the scriptures. He ascended into the heavens, sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father, the Son, is the from glorified, and spoke by the prophets. And in one holy, diverse, apostolic church, we, we confess one of for the mission of sin. And we, Lord, for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the age to come. upon the flaming throne of the cherubim who is served by the fiery powers and you as God are a consuming fire because of your ineffable condensation and love toward mankind ye did not burn the grateful traitor when he drew near to you but greeted him with the greeting of fellowship 
drawing him into repentance and recognition of his audacity. Make us worthy, O our Master. We also add this fearsome hour that with one mind and without a double heart and the rest of us to greet one another with a holy kiss and cast us not into condemnation if in if according to the pleasure of your goodness we are not perfectly pure from the mire of sin evil and the deadly remembrance of vice but rather through your ineffable and indestructible compassion, knowing the frailty and fullness of our form, wipe away all the stain of our trespasses, that we may not be under condemnation, nor fall into judgment concerning this mystery of your divinity. Pray for perfect peace, love, and holy apostolic greetings. to take away all sins and to remove all the unrighteousness and iniquity of wretched men. Behold, you are the purity of the whole world. Green, one another with a holy kiss. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Yeah, Lord, you are Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy upon us. Let us stand well, let us stand reverently, let us stand earnestly. Let us stand in peace, let us stand in the fear of God, trembling and stunned. Offer an order, stand with tremors, look towards the east, let us attend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, say, Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father.
Sommen zu Visible and infinite without beginning, everlasting, timeless, immeasurable, incomprehensible, unchangeable, creator of all, savior of everyone, who forgives our sins, who saves our life from corruption, who crowns us with mercy and compassion. You are he whom the angels praise and our archangels worship. You are he whom the principalities bless and to whom the dominions cry. You are he whose glory the authorities declare. You are he unto whom the thrones send up honor. Thousands of thousands stand before you and ten thousand times ten thousand offer your service. You are he whom the invisible bless and the visible worship and they all do your word O Master. You who are seated still. O you the being Master Lord true God of true God who has many Manifested to us the light of the Father who has granted us the true knowledge of the Holy Spirit who has manifested to us there is great mystery of life who has established the rising of the choir of the incorporeal among men who has given to the earthly the praising of the seraphim receive from us also voices together with the invisible come unto us with the heavenly host let us also say with them having cast away from us all the thoughts of evil imagination and proclaim that which they send up with unceasing voices and unfailing lips and praise your greatness. Look toward the east. You are here around whom stand the cherubim and the seraphim, six wings to the one and six wings to the other, which do they cover their faces, which do they cover their feet, and with do they fly. And one cries to another, they send up the hymn of victory and salvation which is ours with a voice full of glory they praise they sing they proclaim they cry out saying let us attend the cherubim worship you and the seraphim glorify you proclaim
blinded, O Lord, our God. O form and us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed your commandment, by the deceit of the serpent, we fell from it in the life, and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through your saintly prophets, and in the last days you did manifest yourself to us. We who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death, there are only because Good and Son, our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin, St. Mary. Amen. Was incarnate and became man and taught us the ways of salvation. He granted us the birth from on high through what in the spirit he made us unto himself a congregation and sanctified us by the Holy Spirit. He loved his own who were in the world and at the ransom on our behalf, gave himself up unto death which he rent over us, whereby he ran and sold in account of our sins, he descended into his through the cross. Ascended into the heavens, etc. At, at your right hand, O Father, as appointed a day for a compensation which will appear to shed the word of righteousness and which one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to For us, this great mystery of godliness, for being determined to give himself up to death for the life of the world. We Which are without a spot or blemish, blessed and life giving. We believe that this is true. His father must have everyone and when he had giving thanks. Disciples and pure apostles saying, Take it, fight all of you, for this is my body which is broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. This do a remembrance of me. I 
likewise. So set a cup after supper, he mix it with wine and water, and when he had giving thanks. Amen. Blessed. Amen. And he sanctified. Says one saintly disciple, Saint Pierre Apostle, saying, Take, drink with all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for many to be given for the remission of sins. This do a remembrance of me. This is also of this cup you proclaim my death confess my resurrection and remember me till I come Amen, Amen, Amen your death Lord we proclaim your holy resurrection and the From the dead, he descended into the heavens. He is sitting at your right hand, O Father, and he is saying, I'm coming from the heavens. O Son of all of glory, offer to you your gifts, and what is yours? For everything concerning everything and, and everything. Worship God in fear and trembling. And Amen. they spread he makes it into his holy body. I So into the precious blood of his new covenant. Again I believe. Amen. Even for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. to partake of your rules for the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we become one body and one spirit, and we have a shared an inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you in the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Praise the 
Precious Mother of your Christ, keep here in peace with all the Orthodox bishops are in here for Master and Baruch, Lord, our blessing on the Father, the Archie Bishop of Patriarch, and better those in second easy spiritual brethren, the Patriarch of Antuk, Mary, and Otis from the second of Patriarch of Richard, Bon and Tennis, and Patriarch of Thibault, and Mitchell, and his part and Apostolic Lady of Father, the Bishop of Daniel. Pray for our Archpriest, Pope of Us of Order the Second, Pope and Patriarch, and Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria. And his part of the apostle and liturgy of the patriarch of Mary, now she's the second, and the patriarch of Richard Bonamatas, and his part of the apostolic liturgy of Father, the bishop of Daniel, and the upper orthodox bishops. Lord have mercy. We also rightly handle the word of truth with him, grant them unto your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O oh Lord, the Orthodoxy, Higgins, Priests, and Deacons. Pray for the Higgins, Priests, Deacons, Subdeacons, and the Servant Order of the, of the, of the Church of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, the Servants, all who are in Persia, and the purity of all your faithful people, remember, O oh Lord, to have mercy on us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Bantokar, Remember, O oh Lord, the salvation of this, your holy place, every place, every monastery of Orthodox Fathers. Pray for the salvation of the world and of the city of ours and of all cities, countries, islands, and monasteries. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell in God's faith, gracious Yaakov, the Lord, the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the rivers and the rains, the sea, the herbs, and the plants of the fit this year, bless them. Pray for the air and the hand, the fruits on the earth, and rising of the waters, the seas, the herds, and the plants of the field, that Christ the God may bless them, have compassion on his creation which his hands have made, and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And upon your dear grace, give joy to the face of the earth. May its forests be abundantly watered and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare for sowing and housing, manage our life as deemed the fit. Place the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the shepherd, the stranger, and for the sake of us all who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone hope in you, for you give them their food in due season, deal with us according to your goodness. O you who give food to all flesh, for our hearts which are ending lazards, which are having sufficient in everything always. May about every good deed. Approach you, this give those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and for those who have brought them. Son, that we share in the commemoration of your sins, gracious Yahweh, O Lord, 
Remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophet, the apostle, the preacher, the evangelist, the martyr, the confessors, and all the spirit of the righteous, perfected in the faith. Most for the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy, thorough, Mary, who truly gave birth to God the Logos, and St. John the Front of Baptist, and Martha, St. Stephen, the Archdeacon, a proto martyr, the Behold, that of God, the Evangelist, and Mark, the Holy Apostle, and Martyr, the Bachaks and Saviors, our teacher, the Escorts, St. Athenas, the Apostolic, St. Peter, the Holy Martin, High Priest, St. John, Corridor, St. St. Theodos, St. Theophilus, St. Demetrius, St. Cyrus, St. Basil, St. Gregory, the Theologian, St. Gregory, the Wonder Worker, St. Gregory, the Armenian, the 318 Assembly of Nasea, 150 Constantinople and 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous father, the great Alpha and the righteous of Paul, the three sons of Macari, and all the children of Crispirus. Our father, the virgin of the Higomen, our righteous father of Apishoi, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, our father of Apollo of the Mona Israel, his disciple. My Lord, the Roman father, Saints Maximus and Demetrius, the 49 martyrs, the elders of Shehid, the strong saint of Amor. Oh, Sejun Kami, the priest, our father of Adenia, the Higomen, our father of Isidro, the priest, our father of Abahum of the Kinonian, Theodore, his disciple, our father of Ashinu, the Archman Rad, and the Bawisa, his disciple, our father of Pope Crowlus, the sixth, and the Archidiac, and Habib Gerges, and all the choir of your sins, through his prayers and supplications, have mercy on us all and save us for the sake of your holy name that is called upon us. Let us read, recite the names of our Holy Father. The patriarchs who have fallen asleep, O Lord, repose their souls. And forgive us our sins.
سنتان آر سازی دک سنتان تان لاغان تی سنی ایتی است آر ساز اکسان اپسکاپان of joy in the region of the living forever and the heavenly Jerusalem in that place and we to us so join us in this place keep us in your faith and grant us your peace to the Your great and holy name may be glorified, blessed, and exalted in everything. Honor and blessed with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son and Holy Spirit. for our salvation from sin who through the multitude of his mercies has um, loosed the animosity of mankind O oh God the only begotten who is in 
the bosom of his father. O Lord, they bless. Apostles at that time. Now also give to us and to all your people, O our Master, the Almighty, the Lord, our God. Amen, amen. Pray. Lord, Lord have mercy. to the Father, Father, and Savior Jesus Christ, who through his cross descended to his and restored our father Adam and his children to paradise. He buried us with himself and through his death he abolished the power of death and on the third day he rose from the dead. Christ is
to Mary Magdalene and I spoke with her in this manner, saying, Tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. The archangel Michael descended from heaven, rolled the stone from the door of the tomb, and proclaimed the glad tidings to the women carrying the spices, saying, E Christos Anesti, by death and upon those in the tombs bestowing life he preached in the face of his saintly disciples and holy apostles saying receive the holy spirit if you forgive the sins of any they are forgiven if you retain the sins of any they are retained from all hypocrisy that with a pure heart O may dare with one of that fear to entreat you O God the Father in the heavens and say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In Christ Jesus. Remember, O Lord, our simplest bless them. Save the men with your spirit, if you God has attained. Amen, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. The whole is for the whole. Blessed be the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the sanctification by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit.
gracious, true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Christ, the Son of our God, Amen. the last day prayed that this is the life giving pledge that you only be God and Son our God and Savior Jesus Christ my Lady the Queen of us all the Holy Thought of Saint Mary he made it one with his divinity without mingling without confusion without alteration he confessed the good confession before point as pilot he gave that for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment but an eye giving chance for salvation and mission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him I believe I believe I believe that this is true Amen Amen, Amen, Amen. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is so. Amen. Pray for us and for all the Christians who said to us concerning them, Remember us in the house of the Lord, the peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Sing Alleluia. Pray for the worthy communion of the Immaculate Heavenly and Holy Mysteries. Lord have mercy.
आजे Compassionate was crucified. 
Jesus the compassionate was crucified to redeem the human race from the fortress of Satan. <laughs> is risen risen after three days while it was dark after three days while it was dark and the people were sleeping Christ is Christ is risen. Is truly risen. The disciples were afraid, and the soldiers were standing. The disciples were afraid, and the soldiers were standing. And the Marys were coming. They found that. Christ is risen. The disciples of Jesus. Disciples of Jesus, oh, are you crowned? Why the tears? Christ is risen. Eucharistus, Anesti, Alitus, Anesti. Sunday morning when our Lord had risen, all His people were exalted and our sins were forgiven. For His people were exalted and our sins were forgiven. And you Peter.
your peace, establish for us your peace, and forgive us our sins. For you is the power, the glory, the blessing, the honor forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, make us worthy to be thankfully our Father, Father who art in, in heaven. heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us to all temptation, but deliver us from evil. For Jesus Christ, our Lord, the light, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God. The Christus in this day. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Okay. We well, we'll wish you all the best. Um, uh, and I would like to thank all of you for a wonderful week for our big Pesha. And I would like to give um, our gratitude to our beloved servants, the deacons. They have done a wonderful job during the whole week and especially um, today. May God bless you all. Um, tomorrow, God willing, we don't have Sunday school celebration tomorrow according to the um, uh, decision made by the Holy Synod but we have tomorrow from 11 to 1 uh, that His Grace Bishop Daniel will be receiving the condolences from the um, authorities and from the, um, uh, the heads of the churches and for anyone so from 11 to 1 His Grace Bishop Daniel will be in the hall receiving you know the condolences on Monday, there is no celebration on Monday, but that day, um, the celebration of Sunday school moved to the following Sunday, and Easter Monday moved to Saturday, the 27th of May. We'll inform you, God willing. And now, the love God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the gift of the communion of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the peace of the Lord be with you all.